where we first introduced you to artist Jill Wells Art at King Elementary with her 3D tactile mural that gives children with sensory sensitivity the chance to experience art in a first of its kind way. Now the Harkin Institute is honoring Wells for her work to make art accessible. What I'm thinking to me is this looks like a forest scene or like foliage, you know, plants, uh, flowers. Experiencing art through this 3D plaque at the Harkin Institute in Des Moines. This landscape mural is an indoor green space. A feeling of freedom for Bettina and Cody Dolensek. But what this does is it allows me to independently check out the piece, to look at it, to get from it what I perceive. So it's not coming from somebody else's perspective, it's my perspective. For Cody, going to art museums in the past. Everybody's standing around and ooing and awing at a painting, and you're thinking to yourself, everything's still black to me. Uh, there, there's no color uh, or sense of any kind that anything has changed. Now this 3D plaque is changing the blind experience and honoring artist Jill Wells. The design depicts Wells' tactile mural at King Elementary School in Des Moines. This room, another first of its kind in Des Moines as a wellness space. Wells partnered with several artists to create a different sensory experience for kids with different needs, with fabric butterflies to touch. Wells' commitment to creating more inclusive art is inspired by her brother, Lee Cole. In 1998, when he was just about to graduate high school, he suffered from a rupture in his brain while he was sleeping. The rupture caused massive bleeding, a heart attack, and permanent brain damage. He also lost his vision. Wells describes her brother before the rupture as constantly challenging himself to be better. Years into his recovery, they sat down to paint together, finding themselves lost. Still on the other side of big emotions, a life-changing lesson, the power of touch. After 20 years of being a visual artist, Wells knew she had to change to create a path to the arts for people of all disabilities. The conversations around inclusion, disability awareness, at least from my research throughout history, they move those conversations move slow and progress seems to move just as slow with them. Wells is now a fellow at the Harkins Institute. She's been working on 3D art for years. She recently traveled to Vienna to speak on a panel with the United Nations and partnered with other artists in Belgrade with decades of experience using technology to make art accessible to everyone. Together, the artists hope for this art to be respectful um, and the feedback helps me understand um, how we can do better, be more universally inclusive. About 54,000 Iowans have experienced vision loss, according to the Iowa Department for the Blind. The bigger goal of Wells 3D art is to heighten disability awareness and reshape the Iowa mural landscape with Braille explaining scenery. If you happen upon that, then you get to have that experience without someone else giving you the experience verbally or telling you if this is what's happening here. It's an empowering effort for Bettina that goes beyond art. I was born blind. I've been blind all my life. Um, and, you know, there were some things that I know growing up, it was just kind of an understood that's not for you. Um, you can't go to the art gallery and really experience it like everybody else. And so sometimes I had it just in my mind that, you know, there's things that I just can't do and I just need to learn to accept that. But then there was also a point in my life where I said, why? Why do I need to accept that? Why can't things be different? Bettina and Cody say Wells' intention and awareness shows the power of partnership and creativity. And meeting people like Jill who's making an impact and making art available to everybody is actually saying that she's agreeing with me. No, it shouldn't be for a certain type of person. It should be for everybody. So that makes me pretty excited for the future and to see how far this can go. I think it makes me feel vindicated. There are a lot of situations in which uh, blind people have been barred. We as blind people are just as worthy of attention and care and concern as anybody else is, right? There is no one with or without a disability that should not be taken into account when viewing art. And Wells plans to spread that inclusivity with more murals to come. I want to see them 
outdoors. I want to see them throughout the state of Iowa paired with other murals. It would be like one in every state. I would love that, oh, more than one in every state. The official unveiling of the tactile mural is November 13th. Wales commissioned herself, uh, the mural herself rather, costing $2,000. For more information on the mural, visit our website, weareiowa.com. Click on this article on our homepage.